what's good youtube back again with another video in today's video we got the kd city edition brooklyn nets jersey inspired by the great late jean Miguel basquiat i hope i'm saying his middle name right but he is a famous famous artist who passed away in the 80s and his his artwork till this day sells for millions of dollars holds the record for I think an $110 million purchase, which is nuts. He's actually still relevant to this day because hip hop artists like Jay-Z mention him in lyrics all the time. And the fact that he has a Haitian and Puerto Rican background, which runs a little close to me because my oldest son has the same background. Basquiat, yeah, his name still rings bells. And the Nets decided to do an inspired City Edition jersey. I was waiting a long time for this jersey to re-release back on Nike. They sold out quick on Fanatics, sold out quick on Nike, and then they restocked. And I'm glad I got this one, especially without the damn patch that we get on these stupid-ass jerseys. But if you're into the patch, I get it. I personally don't care about the patch. I care about the jersey and the player. That's more important to me. Let's get on to the jersey, show you the details, and let's go. All right. So the first thing I want to point out to you is they added an extra tag for the Jean Basquiat licensing. So that's just something to know. If you do get this jersey, that is on there. All right. So let's put that away. All right. Let's start from the collar and the trim. So we have this stitching in this lighter gray color. Coming down. You have your little red cross stitch there for reinforcement. Your jock tag, your inside tag information. As we get to the Nike swoosh, you have it in a blue twill with yellow stitching. And then you have that outline on the trim. Pretty cool. As we get to the Brooklyn, you have your BKLYN stitched, no perforations. And then you have an embroidered nets. Showing you like a free throw line, top of the key kind of deal. At least that's that's what I think it looks like. Then you have your stitch seven with the perforated holes. So one thing you guys know about my authentic jerseys, I always tell you about the perforations. In this particular jerseys, the perforations are throughout the entire jersey. So it's not the laser etching like you get here where you get the solid piece in the middle of the jersey and then you get the perforations on the top part and on the sides of the jersey. This is actually perforated throughout the entire jersey. There isn't that pattern that you see here. So that's one little difference on this jersey already, right? Now, things get kind of cool because there's actually a design embedded in the jersey. So just so you guys know, my opinion, this is something to do with the Brooklyn Nets home court because the new Brooklyn Nets home court has the same style. So you see that and you see how they kind of overlap each other. Well, let me put this into the light now. You get the same pattern here. All right, same thing. Again, I don't know if it's that relation to the Brooklyn Nets court, which then goes on to the jerseys. I, I really don't know. If you guys know, let me know. But that's a cool little detail that this jersey has. And you could definitely see it in the light. As you guys can see it here. Super dope, right? So as we get to the embroidered nets, we have a yellow and blue on that portion of the jersey. And then we get to the side of the jersey. So as I said before, there's perforations on each side, but this fabric here is a very light, thin fabric. It's a different fabric than the jersey material. And you can see all the perforations right there. 
and you can see the perforations on this side as well. All right. So this side, you have the pastel colors in which you'll see a lot on the Basquiat paintings, the reds, the blues, the yellows. And then you have a blue stitch here. As he used a lot of wild colors to express his paintings. And then on the hem, you have a yellow stitch into a red stitch. Right. And like I said before, you may, may not be able to see it, but it's perforated throughout the whole jersey. And then you have his name. Jean Basquiat, Brooklyn Nets. In that rubberized material. You have the jock tag perfectly placed. And then you have an embroidered crown. And at first I didn't know what that stood for, but it seems like in a lot of Basquiat's paintings, he places the crown somewhere within that painting and that's to pay homage to Basquiat. Now on this side of the jersey, you get a smaller, slimmer material, not as wide. That's pretty cool. As we get to the back of the jersey, you have that yellow, almost a mustard yellow. Durant coming across the back. Just a little bit of pop of color. And then you get your perforations on the number seven stitched. And just little details. You have the red reinforcement stitch there. Blue on this side. For those who are interested in the Swingman jersey, the Nike sign is embroidered in the Swingman jersey, which is a nice little touch and different than the usual. And also the Nets part is embroidered on the Swingman jersey and that little crown. So kind of cool that they don't really skip too much on the Swingman for this particular jersey and that's that guys hope you guys enjoyed the video you know how i do i'm gonna try to pump out some new stuff for you guys and i appreciate that all right i'll catch y'all in the next one later